Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Ads combined audiences. So as the name suggests combined audiences basically you are able to create a new audience um, based on multiple parameters based on their interest based on um, their um, you know interaction or whether they are actively looking for something. So I'm going to show you exactly how you can do that. And the advantage of using combined audiences, basically you are able to add multiple layers. So you're not just restricted to use one single segment. So for example, let's say you are um, an agency and you want to probably promote your services to small business owners, then Typically in the past, you will select just one segment, but with combined audiences, you can select multiple segments. So one of your layers will be small business owners, and then you can say they need to be in so-and-so industry. That's just one example. Um, the other example for a B2B company, for example, let's say you're a B2B company and you want to use Google ads um, to target, um, let's say, um, you know, enterprise businesses who are in interested in a specific software, then obviously you can use multiple segments or multiple layers to, you know, target your audience and uh, generate qualified traffic and leads. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing that you want to do is log into your Google ads account, click on tools, audience manager. And now this is where, you know, you will typically see three different tabs. Um, on under your data segments, you will see like all the audiences that you have you have already created. Um, then you have this custom segments. Um, this is again your custom audience, and it's based on you know how you can uh, create based on their interest or purchase inten intention. But we want to look at combined segments. So click on the combined segments tab, and then click on plus and then new combined segment. Now over here, you can name your segment um, and um, I recommend adding in the layers that you're using to create that segment. So in this case, I'm gonna say um, business owners plus uh, everyone who is interested in um, SEO and SEM, um, which is search engine optimization and search engine marketing services. Right, so that's the kind of target that I want to use for my next campaign. So you add the name of those two layers over here and under your segment name. Now, the next thing is you will pick the segments from from this tab. So as you can see um, straight away, like it, it's showing you some of the ideas based on my historical selection, but you can we can you can obviously select the browse tab and then start from scratch. So I want to select people who are, let's say, um, in the um, let's say in the technology industry, right? I'm, I'm going to pick that. That's fine. And then I'm going to say or I also want to get into life events and then business creation. That's that's again a good, so basically what this does is anyone who has recently started a business or starting a, a business soon, that's fine, right? I mean, you want to you wanna provide your services to people who have recently started your business. So that's great, I'm gonna select that. Um, one thing you will notice that as we keep adding these segments or audience layer, your number of impressions uh, are increasing. So we don't want that. We, we The main goal of using multiple layers is to make sure that you find a pretty specific audience that is highly engaging that is very relevant for your business. So I won't, I won't recommend using the or condition. Instead, what we will do is we're gonna 
cross this off and then I'm going to say narrow your segment which is an and condition right so I'm going to select and which basically says your audience needs to match this criteria and must also match the second criteria which is life events business creation okay so now as you can see your your impressions are going down I'm gonna add one more condition over here and then say narrow your segment and then I'm gonna say people who are interested in which is the in market segment business uh, yeah sorry business business services that's right and I'm gonna be specific in this case I'm gonna say advertising and marketing services so as you can see um, I'm I'm having three different layers my target audience should be in the in the technology industry um, then they must have recently created a new business and they are in market which is they are interested in advertising and marketing services so that's how I would like to create this new audience and then I'm gonna hit create awesome so I have this combined audiences ready the next time when I create a campaign I will simply select this audience and I will go from there so that's pretty much it guys in terms of what is combined audiences and how you can use it for your Google Ads um, so um, and let me see if I can actually show you if I can edit one of the campaigns that I'm running so I'm gonna go back to my tab over here click on audiences um, edit audience segment and um, let's see I don't think I have um, your segments combined segments okay there it is so um, I don't think it's very clear how I explained so if I go back to all campaigns what I'm doing is I have a YouTube campaign running um, which is over here so I'm gonna select this campaign right then once you are in your ad group um, you can uh, click on the audience tab and then click on edit audience segments select an ad group choose the ad group that you are wanting to edit click on browse other segments your combined segments and then the newly created segment that you have created so that's pretty much it guys in terms of creating a combined audience segment um, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section thank you guys